Hey y'all, what's good? What's popping? This is just like a PSA. Okay, so I just want to say when it comes to this journey that we're on, Twin Flames, Divine Masses, Divine Feminines, or wherever you are at in your journey at this point in time, we all have to be mindful, okay, of our intentions and our motives. So say for instance, you know that your divine masculine wants to come back to you and this divine masculine know they want to come back to you. What spirit is doing is putting this person to a, to the test. If this person comes towards you in the same energy that they left you in when they ghosted you far as like playing, manipulative, sneaking off, plotting against you with other people or going against you for other people, whatever the case may be, that's going to be the whole test. Because if this masculine is wanting to actually go through their awakening, go through this change, okay, so they can get a positive outcome in their life and so that everything around them can turn for the better, that will be a major test upon this masculine. Some of you feminines already know that these masculines are, one 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 are being put up to the test, okay? It's either they're going to be with the divine or they're going to be against the divine. It's no in-between, no maybes, no yes, no, no. It's either you're with being of God or you're not, okay? And this is what people get caught up at because they can sit up here and have this motive or this intention set to where it's the, okay, I'm going to re reconnect back with my masculine or my feminine. I want to move things for the better towards us. Uh, one for four for the better for us to make a family be happy again build a relationship it's stable it's solid it's grounded okay it's a lot of support it's a lot of love it's a lot of loyalty it's a lot of efforts put into it but then this is what you could be intentionally setting but when you get in this person's energy now you're on games you're playing around so we have to pay attention to where we're being tested at okay because nobody is not getting tested everybody is getting tested two twins regardless what it is that you do in your life and how you do it. Okay? So everything is a test. It's up to you if you want to keep continuing to make the same mistakes or you want to continue to keep falling into the trap every time it comes around. Because then it just shows that you are just being careless at the point. At this point. I seen something yesterday when I was standing waiting to pick my kids up and I seen on this van it had behavioral research institution or a corporation so the download i got from that was some of us do have behavioral problems okay and what i mean by behavioral problems it comes with how we continue to do things in a routine or we get comfortable with doing things so much in our life that it becomes a, a norm it becomes normalized okay and that's like a behavior problem because if you know something that you're not supposed to be doing isn't right why you continue to still do it Okay, what's the reason of doing it, okay? You would know that you not just out here doing any and everything is when you have a reason for doing it. So say for instance, you like, okay, I got to do this, that, and the third today. What's the reason behind you having to do those things today, okay? Or what's the reason behind you wanting to be 333 with someone or around someone, okay? Because some of us can say, oh, the reason is this, that, and the third and whole time. You can have another reason behind why that reason didn't fall through that you really were saying that you was trying to do. So it's like we all have to be mindful of where our intentions and motives are set when it comes to dealing with people, places, and things. Because coming into the wrong person's life and trying to interfere and destroy their life just because your shit isn't going right or because you haven't learned the right lessons or you haven't had a change of heart to want to become a better version of yourself or just to become a better you, you are going to get a very bad backlash on that. Especially if someone is of the divine or they're earth angel or whatever the case may be. Whatever you see yourself as, okay? In God's eyes. And if someone chooses to come towards you, and be on some fuck shit just trying to steal from you, take from you, whether it's ideas, whether it's money, whatever it is, or your energy, that person is going to get a major backlash. And this is a warning, though. So I hope whoever is watching me, Divine Mass and Divine Feminist 444, because you are heavily protected. Okay, this Herophon card been sitting right here on top of this deck since last night. 
So I know for a fact what I'm saying is facts, and I know for a fact what I'm saying is truth, and I know for a fact God is right here beside me and, st and with me along the way, okay? As you can see, this white little glare is right here. So people just have to be mindful of who they're about to come up against because this is all a test. 515, God knows your every move, your every thought, your every action, and all that before it even happens or occur. Before you even think to do it, when you wake up and all this other shit y'all got going on, okay? Don't think for one second he don't know what you have in mind that you're about to do. And that's where he's going to test you at. Test your morals, test your values, test your 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 integrity, okay? Test you off of your traditions, your beliefs, okay? And a lot of people don't even know that they get tested far as their beliefs, because they don't pay attention to the most obvious or the signs that's there. Five, five, five. So all I have to say is if someone is choosing to come towards you, God is putting them up to the test to see if their intentions are going to be pure towards you or they're going to continue to do what they wanted to do. Okay? So if this person is coming to like get rid of you, or this person is still trying to like be sneaky and try to get rid of you or kill you, whatever the case may be, or whatever it is that this person got going on, this person is going to get the wrath, okay? And it's going to be so severe, this person is not going to be able to handle it. Like their whole life is going to go out of whack. The only reason why this person life, male or female life, hasn't went all the way spiraling it out of whack is because God is sparing this person. Because they hear this person giving petitions to them. They hear this person cries. They hear what this person is saying. They hear that this person at least wants to have a second chance with you and do things right and want to make amends or at least open up to you and explain to you why they are in this energy. Yeah, five of swords, ten of swords, and the devil. I'm telling you, this person can come towards you and play games if they want to. This person is going to get a, a very rude awakening that they never wish they even tried or played with. Because right now, because this person is trying to, they're working on their intentions and they're working on their heart space and they're wanting to open up and be truthful and honest to you. Because I picked this up in Libra's reading. Someone wanting to come towards you and be truthful and honest and just let it out and tell you everything. This person is being put to the test, okay? Because they're sparing this person. So if I was this person... I will advise them to actually, like, do what they say they're going to do and stand on that shit because it ain't going to be pretty. Yeah, we got bad health. Some of these people are going to fall severely sick, severely ill, okay? Like, some of these people are going to, like, I'm telling you, I'm telling you, you ain't got to believe me. I'm telling you, some of these people are going to be severely ill, severely sick. Like they're the reason why is because they're trying so hard to get you, put you in your demise, and they're about to be in their own demise. So this is a test. I don't know who this for. Please take it where it resonates. Masculines and feminines, okay? Because we do have some feminists that wants to go back to their masculines, but we do have masculines that wants to go back to their feminines. So you just have to choose which side and which role you play in your person's life. Okay, if you wasn't a person that wasn't doing the mind games, manipulation, the betrayal, the, the one up at every cause and trying to sneak away and get away with shit and this, then the third, then it's not for you. Because somebody, somewhere down the line, somebody's intentions isn't all the way up to par yet. This person's intentions is still questionable. This person's motives is still questionable. So you might have to ask this person, if they do come towards you, like, what is your real intentions and motives to be around me? Is it because I have this, this, that, and the third? Or is it because I have so much to give or so much to offer? Like, what is it? Like, we really have to ask these things when it comes to these divine masters. Because some of them have been in karmic energy for so long. All they know is how to manipulate and give what they want and how to betray people. So all they like, they've been betraying people. But don't, it's nothing to be afraid of and nothing to be scared of, Okay. As long as you stay in the right space and right uh, mind that everything is working out for you and not towards like everything that's happening for you is for a reason. That's what I'm saying, basically. So, yeah. But the thing is, you are the test. 
And you're going to be a major test to this person. Because this person wants to apologize. And they have been talking to God, have been offerings and everything that they've been saying to God. Like apologizing, wanting forgiveness, repenting. They're not going to do this. They're not going to do that. And that's what they say. You get what I'm saying? We just going to have to see. What's this devil, five of swords, and the ten of swords energy right here? Because this person does want to talk to you with the message. Okay? All I'm saying is, just make sure this person is coming towards you in the right heart space. With the right motives and intentions. Okay? But I'm telling you, what I'm seeing and hearing is not going to be a good look for this masculine. All this feminine energy, if they come towards you and, and, and try to destroy your journey, because you are on this journey, you are in your calling, the hair farm. Some of you guys are spiritual leaders, spiritual teachers, practitioners, and all those things. Okay? And this person don't know that the devil works for you. Literally. You see? The devil has made a pact with God and made an oath with God to make sure that this person come in and say or do whatever they said that they were going to do. So this person is being tested. Okay, now but that's whatever that this person then made a pact with. This is like the last and final straw is what I'm getting. This five of swords and ten of swords energy is not going to end very good. That's like major betrayal right there. Because this person is going to try to manipulate the situation. So it's up to this person because it's, the, it's already been clear and made that the devil cannot do nothing to you, cannot touch you, okay? You still be under spiritual warfare and spiritual attacks, but far as anything like somebody trying to like set you up, get you killed and shit like that, that is over with. Like that is like literally over with. Because now it's their time. Now the, it's like the devil is coming to collect them. Whoever this is or whoever this person is that set up here and chose to betray you. Yeah, thief. Because the devil feel like they've been robbed. Literally. Out of getting you. Out of all the attempts that they try to do with this tennis world, they still ain't get you. They still can't defeat you. They still can't destroy you. They still can't get rid of you. So it's like it's only up from here with the devil wanting they ass because the devil feel like that they've been tricked and manipulated and deceived that's why i said y'all can't play with shit like that you can sit up here and make all the, the the sacrifices do all the rituals and packs you want with the devil but once you don't add up to what the devil was really wanting and you ran out of time now the devil is out of your ass and you're going to forever be chained 13, 13, that's why I said this person is put to the test right now. This person comes towards you on some funny shit and try to betray you again. This person just got to deal with whatever consequences that comes from the devil that they set and made a pact with. Because this person was working with the devil before they even chose to surrender and apologize to the Most High. 13, 33, I'm telling you, y'all, this is not a joke. Because it's going to be somebody ass that's caught on the line. And it's not going to be yours because the devil already made an agreement with the Most High that they can't touch you, they can't do nothing to you. It's, all that is done is over with. Like, it's over with. It's brighter days from here for y'all. It's just these people that has been playing around in this devil energy, they're being put up to the test to see if they really want forgiveness, to see if they really want to... Who? this is deep. This is deep. This is deep. That's why I hope people don't take this as a joke or what I'm saying. 14, 14. Okay? Because some of your enemies do want to reach out to you. They do want to talk to you. They want to apologize. But I'm telling you, they can come towards you because you're in this horrified energy. You sit next to God highly. You're of high honor. You call the shots because God gives you the messages to, the, to relay to society or to this group of people or to these people. Take it where it resonates. But as I was saying, and it's not the same like you have high authority or have high control. You just have to be of service and stay in the seat that was ordained for you. 
And most of these people that came into your life, they thought that they can one-up you, manipulate you, betray you time and time again, steal from you, and then think that they can come towards you and then apologize or say, give you or, or like, um, make it up to you without dealing with consequences. No. Because y'all done went through y'all transformation. Y'all done went through y'all change. Y'all done went through that shift. So it's like now y'all on y'all somewhere else. These people are still in the same energy, still in the same cycles because they still in that same energy of wanting to win at every win at all costs and betray you. And be sneaky and conniving and vindictive. So I don't know what to say. I just hope they you really use their brain or their 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 common sense about what they're about to get into. Because this is nothing to play with. Okay. People think that they people didn't got away with so much shit for years, 15, 55 for so long, dealing with relationships, people, places, and things. And they go up to the wrong person and they do this shit to the wrong person. Somebody that is really sitting next to God, that next to God. Okay. Like literally sit next to God. 16, 16. Mm -mm -mm. I just hope you ain't got to believe me, but you're going to see for your own eyes because the devil cannot do anything with you. They can't. Now, the most they can keep trying to send their minions towards you, but they already know it's not going to be successful. It's not going to go how it's playing because these people always be trying to like go above and beyond with their one specific thing that they were supposed to be doing that they was giving by the devil. But these people can't even do that because they start to get greedy. They start to let greed overpower them when they had so much power and authority over something or somebody as they thought. When the whole time they was being put to a test by the devil and God. I'm telling you, people got to pay attention. By them trying to manipulate you, they was being manipulated by the devil. By them trying to betray you, they was being betrayed by the devil. Because the whole time, the devil had already made this agreement with the with God before it even was at before it was even told to go towards you and attack you before it was being assigned for your specific assignment. Like people got to pay attention here because as well as you had a test too when you was going through your dark night of the soul and you was in that low vibrational energy you had an agreement too an assignment that you had to fulfill and and like seek all the way through you didn't you couldn't take no detours no shortcuts okay you couldn't get the uh what is it called what is it called for you couldn't get no cheat codes thank you you literally had to ride it out you had to literally ride it all the way out. You had to see your way through it. And you seen your way through it. That's how you are in the position you're in, 1818. Because they see the strength, the power, and, and the authority that you have, not only for yourself, but for others. The respect. So you're well respected right now. You had to make you had to go through so much betrayal and defeat. And, and 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 sneaky sneaky energies in order to get in this position you're in. So just as well as you was being tested, this person was being tested. Only thing is they didn't catch the plot to his done. You know how some people are, are so pressed to work for the devil to be sacrificed and to 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 betray people, manipulate people, steal from people, do all these things towards people, not knowing that they're digging themselves a bigger hole that they're having to like confess to when is there time to really see God and approach God like do people understand that because you're not going to go down there and be questioned by the devil about all the vindictive malicious conniving shit you done did all your life towards people no you're going to the most high that's why the universe is that's that's why the universe judges us as well that's why they say as above so below as within as without what goes around comes around. Do y'all feel me? Okay, just stay with me. Just just do y'all understand where I'm coming from? Okay? Not knowing that they was being taken for a joyride. 
of their own sins that they committed, that they uh, confessed to, or that they set as a crime. People get this, come on down. This shit gets deep. Then, then the, 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 the normal eye or the lowest surface, surface can get. Like, this is nothing to play with. Because once you actually get judged, you see how these people sit right here amongst God being judged? It's either one or two things. They're almost doing the same hand signal. Only thing is, only thing is about this, it's like you're either going to be cast down or up. Which one is it? Because it's nine realms to hell. You can look it up. Okay? It, it, it's, it's not what people think it is. Oh, you're just going to hell just to, and that's it. No, it's nine realms and it's different realms. It's nine different realms. Gluttony, like this shit gets deep, y'all. I'm telling y'all, y'all can just research it and learn the shit yourself. Okay, or search on YouTube, okay? Do some studying. That's why it's different ways to study and learn how the way things go. And those nine stages of hell is your hell that you created for yourself. And it seems like people is already at 10. And the tenth one is just fully being you're done. Because there's nowhere left else to go after that. And you have some people that's trying to come towards you that probably did you dirty that you don't even remember or know for quite some time and they passed away and they're asking for your forgiveness in order to get to the other side. I'm telling you, like it's judging season for people and where their intentions lie or what their heart, where their heart is. Think about your heart space. I don't give a fuck how much money the next person got. I don't care how fly somebody is. I don't care how house, how nice somebody house look. That shit don't mean shit. That's what the devil wants you to believe. That materialistic bullshit y'all got going on in y'all head. No, it's not about that. It's about where your your values lie, what your beliefs are, what you believe in for yourself. Because when it's time for judgment day to be judged and stand before God, you got to answer for yourself. 22, 22. Ain't nobody else going to say, oh, well, such and such did this and such and such did that. No, when he asks you something to give you one specific thing, you better know what the fuck to say. I'm telling you, because ain't nobody going to be there to say that shit for you. He asks you why you chose to go against this person when this person wasn't doing nothing but continuing to be kind, kind, loving, and generous and offering you nothing but love and generosity. And you chose to be in this five swords, ten swords, and be a thief. What you going to say then? Oh, because such and such told you to do that? Because such and such paid you to do that? They don't, he not going to hear that shit? Oh, and because such and such told you to do that? Oh, that's gluttony. Now you got to go down to where that stage of gluttony is. Where you're fighting with not having the things that you were supposed to have. Not understanding why every time you turn around, people don't want to help you out. They don't want to do nothing because you chose to use things in a ill will manner. So was somebody that was actually here to help you, lead you, guide you, to help you reconnect back to source. Like people don't understand this again. Death, I'm telling you. It's like once you done did so much and you done did enough, like once you done got to that ninth realm of hell within your own hell and your own life, only thing next to do is to pass away. Like that shit is like people don't understand that shit. That's why I said like everybody gets judged. It's all on your intentions. You you wake up and intentionally say, oh, I'm about to go shoot a nigga today. Or I'm about to go rob a nigga today. Bruh, what? Like what? Do that make sense? And then you wonder why you're going through hell. And you're blaming other people for the shit that you caused in your own life. But all you had to do was wake up, pray, give thanks, tell God you love them, tell your spirit guides your ancestors you love them, thank you for doing this, this, that, and the third, and your day will go so smoothly. Because the protection is around you. Not you sitting up here saying, oh, the first thing I want to do with my intentions is to go rob a nigga. To go kill a nigga. To go do this. To go do that. Like, bruh, you all fucked up. 
So you can even ask, you you ain't even got to sit before God. You already know where you're going. You already know where you're headed. But I can't say that neither because at times, even though people can have that energy to be in, God will spare you and have mercy on your soul for forgiveness. Because you could be the type of person that was just going through hard times or going through something very difficult or traumatizing in your life and you felt as though that's the energy that you need to be in. So God is very much forgiving. So I can't say that. 25, 25. And you will be forgiven for it. But somewhere down the line, it's like, I feel as though like somewhere down the line, you still have to like, um make sense out of, out of why you felt that way or why you was in that energy. Because I'm, I'm pretty sure it's still like something we got to um, confess to. Like we still got to take accountability for that. Even if we are being forgiven. You get what I'm saying? Like you will get a pass, you will get a slap, get some slack because you're forgiven. But it's something that I'm pretty sure still has to be like made of that, of why. Okay, so just make sure that you guys' aren't intentions are aligned or where they need to be, okay? Like, for real, because the devil is at work right now on this earthly plane, and they're trying to get as much, this person, he's trying to get as many souls as possible, okay? Because he knows that so many people is not going to um, open themselves up to the divine, they already know because some people are afraid. Some of these people didn't lost faith and lost hope years ago, generations ago, because all they know is to be in this devilish energy, deceiving, conniving, manipulating, stealing, cheating, and all this other shit. Okay? Like the world is corrupt. That's why it's so easy for the devil to trick people and finesse you because he's not getting finessed. You're getting finessed for your soul. And he do this every lifetime. Every lifetime. Because once again, not that many people is going to let their let their gardens, let their garden down to open up to the divine, to open up to God. Come to him with your problems. Talk to him. Whatever it is that you've not feeling good about or comfortable about. Not too many people is going to do that. Because they like to be in this devilish energy. They like being corrupt. They like being possessive over materialistic shit. Not to, I'm telling you, this shit gets deep. That's why it's so easy for people to fall right into the devil's den and stay right on his playground with him. Because people already know that they done did so much wicked shit in their life that they feel as though that it's going to be hard to connect to God. And there's going to be so much shit that they're going to have to change and redo in their life or stop doing in order to get that connection from God. You feel me? That's why it's best to catch yourself ahead of time before shit gets too late. Because once you're all the way dig deep in it, it's going to take a lot for God to hear you. You got to now. You got to prove yourself. You got to show. You got to make, and you got to act. Twenty eight, twenty eight. Like it's not going to be like. You coming to God with this knight of cups and talking to him and saying, God, please forgive me for this, that, such and such. I know what I did wasn't right. And I know I was going through this, that, and the third. He's going to hear you. But you have to really, really show to him that you're, wearing, that you're able to bear it all to him. Because he understands we all make mistakes. Nobody is perfect. He didn't send us down here to be perfect, to be better than the next person, or to pretend like we got everything down pat. No. He sent us down here to pay for the sins of our elderly that was before us, as far as our ancestors, from generations before. And it's like once you clear that within your bloodline, within your DNA, you're good to go. But some people, they don't want to clear it. They want to stay cursed. They want to be damned is what I heard. I heard damnation. Shit. Shit. They want to be damned, okay? So it's like you have to clearly, truly decide if you want to free yourself, if you really want to free yourself, or you want to stay chained, okay? Because not all of us are chained. And we all been in that same energy too when we was on some wicked shit years ago. As I said, people, some of us, we've been there, done that. We don't have time to get back into that energy. 
We're trying to help you guys understand and see what it is that you really want to do. Like, if you want to stay connected or or you just want to be in the book of damned. I don't fucking know y'all shit. Because everybody is, is written somewhere. Okay? You just have to figure out which book of life you're in. And it's like, after so many years, you keep doing the same fuck shit, knowing that you're supposed to do better, knowing that you got to do better. It's like, bruh, you're, you're damned. You might as well just stay cursed, bruh. That's what it is. You might as well just stay that way. Because everybody is afraid to surrender. Everybody is still holding on to their pride and ego. Because they're afraid of what the next person is going to say, how the next person is going to view them, or how the next person is going to feel. Because everybody beliefs is fucked up. Your beliefs don't have to be the same as the next person's beliefs. But somewhere down the line, it all correlates and it all it all makes sense. It's all together. I'm telling you. It don't matter how this is written, how this is said, how these people pray, how they fast, what they do to connect to God. It's all the same. Universal source. Y'all just got to figure it out. Okay? Some of us don't have to figure it out. We just know. That's why if you pay attention to God's children, we already been there, done that. We already been through the ones that was doing betrayal ass, backstabbing ass shit, conniving ass shit, getting away with shit. We already been there, done that. We just trying to get y'all to see that you can go down this path and still come back. That's how much mercy and forgiving that the most high ease. But once you get too fully corrupt and, and it's like, it's no coming back from it because there's nothing that he can do to save you or no one else can. That's why I say you have to be the one to save yourself because nobody is going to save you but you. I'm, I'm telling y'all, nobody is going to save you but you because he already know who's coming with him and he already know who's coming with him. So it's just up to you to know where you want to go or where you're heading or where you're being or where you're going. Because nobody is above anybody. Okay? We're all equal individuals. That's where unity comes in. We're all one. You're supposed to see everyone the same as you. Everybody has their own trials and tribulations that they have to face and get through. Some people, they don't even want to face it. That's why I said this shit gets deep. It gets real deep. That's why every chance I get, every time I wake up, I make sure I connect to God and all that. Because I don't need none of that on me to where as though I feel as though I got to go back into toxic ways of energy or toxic habits just to feel loved or feel connected. No. I already know I'm loved and I already know I'm connected because I wake up every day and set intention, intentions to pray out to God and give all my love and compassion to the universe. That's why I said, like, only person gonna be judged is you. Not nobody else for your for your sins or your duties you was playing with with the devil. 3333, when you had a chance to free yourself and literally get out of that. Ain't nobody gonna have nothing. You gonna have the answer to that. Not nobody else. Cause it's gonna be a face-to-face -face encounter with the most high. And he's gonna ask you, do you feel as though that you did everything necessary to people in a respectful, healthy, happy manner? <laughs> do you feel as though that your beliefs was right for you at that time and moment when you were in toxic, low vibrational energy? And it's crazy because some of us, we can be in low vibrational energy, but because we already are so balanced because the DNA in us that we don't stay in low vibrational energy for too long. We already know how to not play in those realms. Okay? Don't get it twisted because some of us didn't play in some realms before, but we don't stay there. <laughs> it's just a visit. It's just maybe God saying, okay, we want you to visit this realm because obviously you got some people that you got to get up out of that realm or, or, t or bring to me to see me. You feel me? Like, that shit gets deep. That shit gets deep. 
When you go in certain realms and dimensions, it's because you're bringing somebody out of that realm or that dimension. It don't mean stay in that realm and dimen dim that damn. I was gonna say dimension, dimension, and and keep fucking around. No, that's not what you're called to do. Especially when you're someone of power and authority, and you're of high ranking. That's what that's some of our duties. That's what we're supposed to do. Because these people was a part of God's tribe as well. They got lost because of corruption, greed, or whatever the case may be that they had going on in their life. And with so much trauma and they don't want to heal it, it becomes darker and darker and darker and darker. And then when that person crosses your path, it's because spirit is giving them a chance and an opportunity to surrender and, and repent or ask for forgiveness. And now it's like you got to go through the dark with this person in order to pull them out of their light. But not everybody is going to get saved. So that's why when people, you have a close encounter with certain people in your life, you really have to pay attention to why they're in your life. And what's the reason and the purpose of them being in your life? Because if you don't and you just have ill intentions or motives towards that person, you're going to miss the whole message. That's why it's always best to pay attention. I don't want to wrap y'all up, but I hope y'all got some understanding from this message and it made sense to y'all, okay? On where it is that you feel as though if you're where you're at with God or where you need to be with God, okay? Because I'm still connecting and learning and opening myself up to the most high. I'm not quite where I want to be, but it's comfortable for me. You get what I'm saying? Where I have the intention to wake up and pray and have the intentions to pray when I go to sleep to make sure protection is over me and my kids, the ones that I love. And that way, I'm in a space to where though if something was my time to go, God forbid, that I would be at peace with that. You feel me? Like, I would be at peace. Because I done did everything that I was supposed to do here on this earthly realm to get others out of that space, to get others out of that energy, to get others to connect and realign and, and tap in. All right, y'all. This is it and this is all. Like, share, comment, this, with us, subscribe, and hit that bell notification.